Welcome to Sew and Grow. My name is Dee and I am coming to you live from my kitchen. I just came out from the garden picking some items um, that I am going to need. So today I am going to be attempting to make some sun-dried tomatoes. I am going to be making it for the very first time. My family loves sun-dried tomatoes. We eat it regularly and it is very costly. For a small jar, it can run anywhere from 3 to $4 upwards uh, for the better brands. So I went out and got some tomatoes. So I have three variety of tomatoes here. I have some red cherries, some cherry babies, and some garden delights. I got some parsley, some cilantro, and some rosemary. And then I also have some oregano that I previously prepped. Um, got out of the garden and dried out previously. So also for this recipe, we're gonna need some garlic. I have my oils. I'm going to use olive oil and avocado oil. And instead of plain salt, I'm gonna use some garlic salt. And then I have my white vinegar. The um, herbs and tomatoes have been all washed up and ready to go. Um, I have my cutting board here. I'm going to be cutting the tomatoes in half and then um, placing them in my dehydrator. So I'm going to go ahead and get this started and then I will bring you back shortly. If you're new to our channel, please subscribe, like, and comment if you have ever made your own sun-dried tomatoes. The sun-dried tomatoes can be refrigerated up to six months and if you freeze it, it could last up to one year. So as I mentioned, I have some basil here that I previously picked from the garden. We have some uh, garlic here. I have a little bit of dill that I think I'm going to put a, t a touch of dill on it some olive oil, some avocado oil, some garlic salt, some vinegar, my jar, and of course my tomatoes. I have a few different varieties um, of uh, cherry tomatoes. We have cherry baby, red cherry, and some garden delight. I also picked some cilantro, some parsley, and some rosemary from the garden. This rosemary is so it has such an amazing smell. I wish the camera had smell-o-vision. <laughs> uh, but yeah, we're going to go ahead and get started. Okay, so I have my cherry tomatoes cut up on my cookie sheet. Um, my baking pan ready to go into a, the oven. I decided not to use the dehydrator. I'm going to do it in the oven on a low temperature of 200 for about two hours or until dried. So they are cut in half and ready to go. So I'll put them in the oven and we'll be back. Okay, so I just pulled out my tomatoes to check them. We are about two and a half hours into the um, drying process. I think it needs about another hour or so. So I am now going to um, also add my herbs that I plan to add to the sun-dried tomatoes in the oven as well to start drying out. So I have some parsley, some cilantro, rosemary, oregano that I previously dried out, but I want to dry it out a little more. And then I have a little bit of dill that I'm going to add that I'm going to dry out a little more as well. So I'm going to put both of these trays back in the oven for about another hour. Okay, so it's been about four hours since I had these in the oven on 200. Um, and as you can see, they are just about dried out. There are a few of the larger tomatoes, the Garden Delights, which are a larger version of the cherry tomatoes that may still need some drying time. So I'm going to put it back in for an additional 30 minutes, but they are just almost ready. And then in this tray here, I've dried out all of the 
herbs that I'm going to add to the jar. So I have some oregano, a little bit of dill, some parsley and cilantro, and some rosemary. And um, as I was pulling them off of the stem, I was going to throw out the stem, but the stems have such a fragrant to them that I'm going to just go ahead and add the stems in the jar. I wish you could smell this. It smells delicious. When you dry out your fresh herbs, it is very, such a good aroma. So yeah, so I'm gonna give these about another 30 minutes or so, and then I will go ahead and start the process of getting it all jarred up into the olive oil. I'm going to use a combination of olive and avo avocado oil in the jar. Okay guys, so after five and a half hours of uh, cook time um, in the oven at on 200, the, sun, the tomatoes have uh, dehydrated. I've added the herbs and some garlic. And this is the final product. Well, not final, but these are the last uh, steps I am heating up my olive and avocado oil. Um, just have it on a low heat, um, just bringing it to a warm temperature. And then I will pour it over the sun-dried tomatoes. Um, I thought that uh, when I initially started doing it, I started out with quite a bit of tomatoes, but once they dried out, um, they shrunk down uh, and I had to uh, change my jar. Initially had a 32 ounce jar, uh, but then I had to wash out one of my old relish jars and uh, put it in that, which this is uh, a 16 ounce jar. So half the size that I initially thought I would end up with, and it's not even all the way full it's about three quarters of the way full but yeah it looks very good the herbs are very fragrant and um in about two minutes i will pour the oil mixture on top of it and seal it up and in a day or so we will try it and see see how it turned out this is my first time making uh, sun-dried tomatoes but i'm sure it's going to be amazing okay guys i am at it again it's about a week later not even a week and the first batch of sun-dried tomatoes are just about gone so i am making another batch today and because the last time it was my very first time doing it Although they came out amazing, the taste was phenomenal, I realized a few things that I could do better that I didn't do the last time. And one thing is um, pitting out the inside of the tomatoes. That would allow the tomatoes to dry in a shorter amount of time. Um, I realized that's why it took almost five hours, five plus hours for them to dry the last time. Um, so this will decrease that drying time probably almost about half. And then the second thing I didn't do the last time, I used a lot of the smaller varieties of the tomatoes. This time I'm using some of my bigger tomatoes. And uh, because the smaller ones, once they dehydrate they shrivel up almost to half the size so I am going to utilize the bigger tomatoes this time so yeah we at it again round two batch two sun-dried tomatoes they turned out amazing other than those two things it was still very good so I'm sure this time I will perfect it So the tomatoes are all pitted uh, 
and ready to go in the oven. This little mixture here from the inside of the tomatoes will definitely not go to waste. They will go into my homemade spaghetti sauce, which that's a whole nother video. So right now we're talking about sun-dried tomatoes. I've de-pitted them. I've used larger tomatoes to decrease the drying time. Um, and larger tomatoes because the smaller ones shrivel up almost to nothing. So they are ready to go into the oven. And I believe this time it will be about two hours dehydration time versus five and a half hours the first time because I didn't do this process here of taking out the, the middle. So thank you guys for joining us on this journey here. Please like, share, and subscribe to our channel. And uh, comment. Let me know if you've ever tried to make homemade sun-dried tomatoes and how did yours turn out? What herbs did you use? And um, how did that turn out for you? So thank you for watching, guys. We appreciate you stopping by the channel.